Use this common play to expose your opponent up the middle for big yardage, 30 plus yards. Coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that actually gives you full games of all the tips and schemes that post my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. All right, so guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, also that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. Guys, I want to talk about um, a breakdown in the defensive coverages that I discovered off of one of the oldest school, most annoying plays to stop, which is verticals. Now, not a lot of people use verticals uh, in their schemes anymore. You have a lot of crossing routes and stuff like that because you get really big yardage. Well, uh, I think with some of the new patches, uh, verticals actually has become one of the better plays uh, to use in the game to really attack your opponent. Now, I actually was uh, messing around with this figure play, and, uh, and I basically stumbled onto uh, a way to run it. Uh, that actually is going to give you an opportunity to go in and get some big yards. So we're just going to come out of just the basic verticals, which is going to be, um, let's see here, we're going to run uh, with the uh, four verticals here out of single back white trips, and then we're going to audible into other different types of verticals too. Now, how, where I discovered the effectiveness of this particular play is in the uh, the uh, cover two defense. That's where actually uh, I discovered it. it was uh, extremely effective. Uh, and uh, one of the plays I was using, particular play, which is out of the uh, gun doubles, um, why off? And I was just playing around with actually putting some of my guys in, in motion. And uh, I discovered that that uh, you're going to get weird animation by the de defense. Defense is going to play certain routes. So the way I set this, this, this route up is I need to have two crossing routes underneath, basically some kind of a pseudo mesh concept. Uh, it could either be with the running back route, uh, doing a little uh, in route uh, or uh, or the tight or like a wide receiver actually doing a, a little uh, slant route or mesh route and what that's going to do is going to open up the, t the tight end position right here swamp so you can see how this guy is just wide open right there didn't come out with the ball but that is a, a play that we can come back to so we're going to set this up again by taking this guy over and we're just going to go ahead and put him on a slant and watch the tight end. Watch how the tight end doesn't get covered. And he actually is going to have an opportunity to go in and get 30, 40 yards right down the middle. So if you've got a really good tight end and can hold on to the ball, you can actually pick up some major yards with your, with your opponent. So let's just take a look at this in instant replay, just show you how there's a breakdown of the coverage. So right now, this guy should be playing the mid, uh, mid yellow. But as you can see, he pulls away from the coverage and actually goes down for the underneath route. So what's cool about this is that you can play chicken with your opponent. A lot of opponents, what they're going to do is they might actually, in a cover two, they're going to put that, that, uh, that guy into a, um, a deep blue, uh, leaving essentially uh, th these two areas of the field wide open. So if, these, if this guy falls back in a deep blue, you're, you've got basically two areas that you can check down to. You can still check down to uh, this tight end because this route is actually going to play a little bit further back and actually get past the coverages too. Now you can pretty much run it out of any kind of verticals concept. Just the key to it is having the running back route do some type of a route and you want to have a route that complements the back side of that running back route. So for instance I'll take Kearns, I'll go ahead and move him over here. I'm going to put him on a slant on the back side. And as you can see right here, it actually gets the tight end does not get covered at all with the base coverage. So what happens if you got an opponent that run covers cover three? Well, it's still going to get the kind of separation that you want, the way this play is designed, uh, because of, of all the different levels. So you can see right here, once again, this guy the the window is a little bit tighter, but you can see that tight end gets it's just naked. So another random cover three shell. In motion over the slant, and just, just quick hike the ball, and see the tight end actually just gets wide open against cover three. I'm picking up 30 plus yards. So how does this work against a cover four shell or some kind of a deep uh, zone? Once again, still the same kind of a look, but. As you can see right here, there's a there's a match error right here with that cover four shell, where that other wide receiver actually gets wide open on this play. So, I just I think what happens is that this the way this play is set up, 
it match it just messes up a lot of matching principles. So watch slot guy. One play touchdown right here against cover four. You're just gonna cause a lot of problems with your opponent. So the one play that really does lock this up though is cover four drop. Uh, the defenders are all gonna go ahead and play down and play underneath. So this is where you actually have to go ahead and settle. Uh, for the underneath route or just take off the quarterback so um, that you know if you got an opponent that's running a lot of cover four uh, drop against you obviously there's other ways to go ahead and attack them but if he goes into cover three cover two or just a standard cover four which is not a drop um, basically you're going to go and get some pretty good uh, pretty good play against him so once again to my subscribers thank you once again for your support i really appreciate it um, if you do like these tips go ahead and make sure you go ahead and hit that smash that like button and I'll be breaking out more gameplay utilizing this play in the type of situations I see against my opponent. So thank you for your support, guys. Until next time.